Stats show violent crime is on the rise in mid-Missouri. Tonight, in a special report, ABC 17's Taylor Petrus is not only looking into the numbers, but also tracking where these violent crimes are happening. Right now, violent crime in Columbia is up more than 50 percent. It's also up in Jefferson City by 47 percent. Tonight, I'm taking a deeper look into the numbers, where these crimes are happening, and what we're doing as a community to address the issue. Most of the crimes, particularly violent crimes, are very random in nature. In other words, they can't be prevented by police because they typically are crimes of passion. Captain Doug Shoemaker with the Jefferson City Police Department takes us back to July when a 22-year-old woman was shot in broad daylight at the High V on Truman Boulevard. You know, nobody clearly saw that coming. Here's a look at the violent crime trends in Jefferson City for the past five years. You can see an increase in robberies in 2011, as well as peaks in rapes and aggravated assaults in 2012. Based on numbers from the first half of 2015, the capital city is estimated to end the year with 196 total reports of violent crime. That's up 47 percent from last year. Violent crime in Columbia is also on the rise. Currently, we have seen an increase in our um, aggravated assaults, our rapes. The latest numbers from September show aggravated assaults in Columbia are up 20 percent compared to last year's total. There's almost every week there's something going on. You know, I just feel that I have a responsibility, even if my church wasn't here, to do something in the, in the community, in the city, with all this going on. Pastor Melvin Stapleton's church sits on the corner of Forest and Grand Avenue in Central Columbia, where four people have been shot this year. For some reason, it seems to be a pattern of violence going on in this neighborhood, in the park across the street, and even two or three blocks down the street. Several other neighborhoods throughout Columbia have been the scene for violent crimes. The Bodie Drive area in North Columbia has had at least six shootings so far this year. And all of us on the north side kind of bear the uh, stigma of the, uh, you know, perception that we're a high crime area because of this pretty small area and a limited number of events. City leaders say they're working with north side residents to help clean the crime up in their neighborhoods. Second Ward Councilman Michael Trapp has started by working with the Homeowners Association to get the litter off the street. Residents say they want speed bumps and surveillance cameras too. So all of us are impacted wherever we live in Columbia um, by crime and violence and it's and all of our responsibility to do everything we can to help those most struggling folks um, to be more successful. Oh God, we're praying for this community. We're praying for this neighborhood. Right now, the city plans to devote more resources and police officers to three areas where the most crime occurs. Well, this is really a realization that we can't uh, do everything everywhere at the same time. And so it's really born out of an idea of focusing our attention, time, resources on areas that have gone the longest without much investment. The city says the central, north, and northeast parts of Columbia have the highest crime rates. In Jefferson City, you can see a majority of the calls are to the central part of the city from the east to west side of town. But those hot spots change. Is just as with crime rates that fluctuate, crime hotspot areas fluctuate all the time too. And there's no way to know what's going to happen before it actually happens. It makes them afraid to come outside or makes them afraid to go into the, over there to the park and, and gather as a family. You know, nobody in any neighborhood wants to live where they were fearful and they want their kids to grow up safe. Now as the calls to the police go up, do our departments have enough officers to keep up with the pace? There's not a police agency in the United States that wouldn't say, sure, we wouldn't love to have more officers. That's just the way it is. But right now, the Jefferson City Police Department has 88 sworn officers, and that number has remained steady over the past several years, whereas the Columbia Police Department needs about 50 more. Uh, at this time, we are understaffed, um, and that definitely plays a role in the response times. The Columbia Police Department has 165 sworn officers. Last year, with 163 officers, CPD responded to more than 900 calls per officer. Unfortunately, almost every day we reach what we call status zero, meaning there is no one to send to the next call. When compared to police departments in cities of similar sizes, CPD is far behind. Peora, Illinois has 224 officers. Springfield, Illinois has 241. 
Despite the need for more uniform officers, both the Columbia and Jefferson City Police Departments have devoted several officers to community policing units. Uh, I do believe that can actually slow down the whirlwind. The volume of calls should go down in places that have good neighborhood policing programs. We're never going to say, well, we just give up. You know, we're not going to try and open these dialogues anymore. I think that would be the worst thing we could do. You may not know that a lot of this data can be found online. To find out what crimes are happening around your home, log on to our website, abc17news.com, for an interactive crime data map.